Okay, I'm here with Pete from uh, Quantum at the 2013 Toronto Sportsman Show, uh, who's going to give us an inside look here at Quantum, starting with... What do you want to start with? I, I can Let's, look both uh, ways here. <laughs> why don't we start with our number one sure, selling line? Oh, okay, is absolutely. Uh, I got the opportunity to use these uh, when they first came out. And there's a big uh, trend in the industry where everybody's trying to go smaller and lighter and yeah. get things more sensitive, more compact. And that's what basically boiling... Uh, the whole design concept behind our two major lines here is the XO and the smoke. That's what it all boils down to. Getting rid of uh, a lot of excess weight and unweight, uh, yeah. unneeded materials uh, transfers to uh, a lot less fatigue on the angler mm -hmm. over time. And the way they do that, uh, you know, if you take a look at our XO sign here, the XO skeletal design, and it's a funky looking reel. Uh, they've really got a punch to hole. Uh, a lot of holes in these things. Very, very unique look. Kind of took uh, the eye cast by storm when they came out with that in 2012. Oh, uh, it's really funky right looking, right? You can see right through that. Absolutely. And they call it, uh, they came up with a concept, they call it metal where it matters, you know? <laughs> and uh, what's really unique, uh, just give you, a, this will kind of blow your mind. If I open this up and just pop the spool out real quick, just kind of throw that in your hand real quick. Holy. Is that not amazing? There's nothing, it's like nothing. Absolutely, and that's all they've done. They've got uh, a testing machine, it's a, like a pneumatic press, yeah. uh, it, back at the uh, the workshop, and I, th I can't remember the exact pound, there's like 1,700 pounds of uh, pressure coming down on this thing. I mean, that's, it's really excessive. So the whole concept behind getting these things like you don't want to sacrifice any performance, obviously, yeah, yeah. and of course any strength. You, these reels are just as durable as everything else. Uh, unique to the Quantum lineup too is uh, they've got a whole series from uh, that that really hits a lot of great price points across the board mm -hmm. for the consumer. Anything with the PT name on it, it stands for Performance Tuned. Mm -hmm. um, and they've kind of got 100% control over every facet of the manufacturing process on the reels down in their plant, and including the bearings. And the PT bearings, it's something unique. Uh, they've got a polymer uh, container in there that holds the bearing together, keeps everything really, really smooth. And a lot of times, uh, you know, there may be a problem uh, outsourcing or getting your bearings from yeah. a different supplier. You just can't have the exact same specs. So they really took it seriously when they came out with the Performance Tune line, and they really focused on getting 100% true quality that they're 100% confident yeah. in their yeah. product. And that just, again, it translates that right down to the consumer. When you get something with the PT name on it from Quantum, you know you're getting a high-end quality product. Yeah, it's really, really good. Very sweet. Uh, the other th kind of unique thing that they've done, uh, Quantum was kind of somewhat famous for having really hard, hard, solid, solid, very uh, um, durable gear systems on mm -hmm. it. And again, just through technology and recent developments, different materials and whatnot, they've gone to an aluminum alloy type of uh, main gear, just as tough as the old brass gears, but yeah. much, much lighter. So the entire reels just feel way, way lighter. It's kind of hard to appreciate on the stick, but these are, yeah. these just blow your mind when you put them in people's hands. Oh, I can't wait. I'm itchy this fingers. This is the XO, <laughs> that one that's full of holes. Oh, wow. It's just insane. I mean, that is. I don't know that, how yeah, that is. you have to get these days, but uh, this is the direction that everything is going there. That. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. If we left that, we'd have a lot of disappointed <laughs> people here at the Toronto Sportsman yeah. Show. But uh, just insane. And, and you wouldn't think that this would be... Uh, you know, as durable or as tough or that sort yeah. of thing. Maybe you'd have to kind of wash it, but I mean, they're just as durable as you anything could, else. You caught me completely off guard how light that really is. Yeah, they're insane. And until you really, and uh, you know what, I've always told consumers, you want to be a skeptic. Yeah. You know, and a lot of this stuff, even when I've heard about it coming down the pike before it's released, you kind of, you're skeptical. But you want to be an honest skeptic, yeah. you know? Come out, get it in your hand, give it a try and actually test it out. And it's just amazing. Uh, and that translates right into the rods, you know, uh, another big trend right now, we're all going lighter and smaller and yep. uh, it's not necessarily the Quantum's technology, okay, again, I'll start with our smoke, it's our number one in yep. line. If you take a look down that uh, spinning rod here, you notice up at the top there. Oh, the micro guides. The micro guides, everybody's got them now, it's a big trend in the market, they've been around for a long time. Um, but now I think just more manufacturers are really recognizing the benefits and mm -hmm. uh, you can Google it, you can go online, find all kinds of uh, um, information about it, but maybe today we'll talk about getting rid of some of the misnomers. A lot sure. of people are talking about the increased cast of these things. And I'll tell you, again, I, I'm a bit of a skeptic, but I'm an honest skeptic. Until I tried it, I'm like, boy, you just look down there and as soon as you get past that last third stripper guide there, it just looks like a big choke point, right? Yeah, yeah. But the way a spinning rod works, 
when the line comes off of a spinning reel, you know, you hill your lure out there and you're pulling line off of a stationary spool. It comes off in these big, wide spirals. Yeah. And last year I did a lot of seminars and I was going around with uh, a conventional spinning rod tied to one of these smokes. And I would pull a guy out of the audience and I'd say, would you mind if just opening the bale and I will reel the line off of your rod. And, you know, the viewers would actually see those spirals, usually about 10 to 14 inches from a conventional spinning rod. You'd see those big spirals going all the way to the tip of the rod practically, right? Yeah. And what's happening there is, you can just imagine, if the line's going through there, you've got 360 degrees of contact on every single guide. That's a lot of friction. Mm -hmm. And that's just what's gonna reduce your cast. Yeah. And the good people at Fuji, through computer modeling and awesome videos online, you can Google that too, uh, you'll actually uh, see those spirals coming off. But what they figured out was, the faster you can get your line to plane out in a straight line, it's going to hit the guides going through there, of course, but it's just going to kind of ting off of it every once in a while as it's supposed to be constant contact with the guides all the way through. Oh, wow. So, yeah, uh, with these modified kind of stripper guides down here, getting down to the micro guides, and take a look down here, there's many, many more guides than a traditional rod, too. Yeah. So, again, you'd kind of think in your mind, more guides and they're smaller, that's going to be more friction, I'm not going to cast as far. The dead opposite is true. You actually get a lot further cast, less yep. friction, the line's gonna peel out much further. So it's more accurate and that distance can mm -hmm. be key in really clear trial water conditions, that kind of thing, spooky fish. Really, really works well. Um, so what else do we have on the quantum side for rod wise stepping down? Let's say consumer doesn't have to necessarily want to go extreme. Yep, for extreme sure. kind of thing, you know, wants to, you know, step it's, down uh, working man's rod. A couple of years ago, when they got into the energy stuff, yep. take you around here, it, you know what? Talking again to benefit the uh, the consumer, um, absolutely. I Personally, if I'm trying to shave and save a little bit of money, I would typically spend a little bit more money on, on my reel. That's the working part of fishing, right? Mm -hmm. You could have the best rod in the world, but if your reel is not working or may or may not, you know, you might have a problem there. That's kind of the working part of fishing. Uh, you could have less expensive rod and a reel that works. You're still going to be able to fish. You're still going to be able to catch yeah. fish. So that's what I really, really do. And kind of when I kind of got involved in the industry, IM6 was the new graphite back then. And that used to be a hundred, hundred twenty dollar blank, yeah. a lot of money back then. And IM6 is still IM6. And then there was IM7, IM8, IM9, IM Max. And now we've got into these HSX. And IM6 is still a great graphite rod. You can pick up almost any dealer here at the show, probably 20, 30 bucks or less. Yeah. Um, and it's still a great graphite. You know, If you want a sensitive rod, say you're a walleye fisherman or something like that, and sensitivity is a big deal, um, you've got to have a 100% graphite rod. There's no question there. Yeah. And IM6 is a great place to start. Um, really popular blend for us are these tour editions. This is HSX 54. It's out of the IM class. It's a little bit above that. Yeah. And uh, as you move up in price, basically all you're gaining there, folks, is uh, it's a lot lighter rod with more strength. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, something that's a little bit more durable, you'll get a composite rod. And uh, that's got a lot of fiberglass into it. Very strong, very durable rod, but you lose a lot of that sensitivity. It just doesn't transfer vibration nearly yeah. as well as solid graphite. So that's really the difference. But in the lineups, um, anything that's 100% graphite. Yeah, when we're talking uh, graphite, it's a great place to start here, and it's a good price point. It's kind of mid-range price real yeah. uh, rod, excuse me, maybe in that $50, $60, $70 range, or two, actually, we're side by each here, is the energy. This is 54 HSX graphite. It's very lightweight, 100% great, very, very strong, very light. Yeah. And just by comparison, I'll grab the exact same action here, and I'll use you as a guinea pig. Oh, a guinea pig. Okay. Feels nice. Very Feels nice. Good. Tight action. And that's moving up to a 62 yeah. HSX graphite. Yeah. It's exactly the, Yeah. If you closed your eyes, you wouldn't necessarily know what you're fishing with when a fish is on, but that's clearly lighter. Yeah. Right? Oh, Just yeah. as strong, yeah. but much lighter. And as you move up, uh, that was the Energy was the first one. The Tour Edition, very popular rod. Again, mid range price, probably around that $70, $60 mark. Uh, from 50 and they just go up in there, but eventually you get into that 80 to 100 120 dollar mark And then you're getting into a little bit more sophisticated stuff where they're cooking uh, Much harder components into the guides mm -hmm. and of course you get around that uh, 110 dollar mark for that smoke 
you're into an aluminum oxide guide, very, very hard, really, really good for braid. And uh, and that's really all it is. I, I really do recommend that people spend a little bit more, lean towards a better quality reel, but you yeah. can get a great rod and reel that's gonna catch all the fish on the planet uh, for pretty minimal price anymore. Just with the sophistication of the different grass bites that have come out in the last 15 or 20 years, it just keeps driving the price of that old graphite down, you know? And it's really, really good. Okay, Pete, thank you from Quantum. Excellent. Very good. Absolutely excellent. Great talking to you guys.